<sighs> one more look at this beautiful view from my apartment. Hey. I'm in love with this, man. I can just look at this every morning. I wanted to have a top with you guys because I seen something interesting on um, the internet the other day about the Passport Bros. I neither consider myself a Passport Bro or do I deny being a Passport Bro. I like the term, but I just think that because of the internet, because of men, you know, because of women and what they're saying, because of men's actions, the Passport Bros movement has become a mockery, bro. I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I've been thinking about. What does it mean to be a Passport Bro? What does it even mean? This is my definition. Well, let me first tell you about what it became. According to the internet, it seems like the Passport Bro movement is just solely based on women, most of it. Like 99% of it. So let's talk about the bad side. On the bad side, it seems like the Passport Bro movement is solely based on sex tourism. And if that's your thing, that's your thing. Like, I'm not judging. And I also don't think that it should be judged upon. Because whether you're on the man's side or whether you're on the woman's side, you're two consenting adults that are making dis uh, adult decisions. What's the problem? I don't, it's not my thing, but it's none of my business. And I think that especially women, they try to like, you know, villainize it. Not taking advantage of anybody, that's the problem. If you're taking advantage of somebody, that's the issue. But if you're not taking advantage of nobody, what's the problem? But that's just not my thing and I don't promote that type of thing, but a man's gonna do what he wants to do and what he wants to do with his own hard-earned hard -earned money. So who am I to tell him what to do with it? I don't agree with it. I'll tell a man, like, I, I, I uh, would rather you get to know a lady and earn her affection naturally, but that's not my prerogative to judge or nothing like that. So two, so that's the one side of it. The other side of it, on the more positive side, it seems like that men are just traveling solely to find a wife or, or, or find companionship because they feel like women on the Western side of the world are not it right now. And to respond to that, I'll have to agree with some of that, but I'll have to agree and just be honest in that say, and say that there ain't, there's not shit women on, on this side of the uh, pond too. Like if you're looking for women that's more feminine, more cooperative, more sexy, whatever you're looking for, the opposite of that exist in these countries, Colombia, Dior, Costa Rica, they exist over here as well. Like, <laughs> No woman is perfect. From my experience, I'm not gonna lie. I, I can only speak for myself as far as Costa Rica goes. Um, my dating experience here, I have had more of what I'm looking for as far as, when girls always ask me what's my type, I always tell them I'm looking for a feminine woman. Obviously beauty is important to me. Obviously I like a fat round joint and a you know what I'm saying, stacked up. But I like slender women too. I really love beautiful women. I really don't have like a type, like a skin tone or nothing. I just like beautiful women in the face and femininity and personality. That's what I'm looking for. Personality, beauty, femininity. And I would say that over here on this side, I've, I've had more success, I'm not gonna lie. But another thing, because of me and I'm weird and I'm like, I got this little I don't know if you want to call it a fetish, whatever you want to call it. I like the fact that there's a language barrier and I'm forced to learn their language and sometimes they're trying to learn my language. I like that, it makes it fun, like it makes it interesting. And you ha you're constantly learning like, oh, what's this word mean, or oh, what's this, or oh, what's that? I love that, like that, that part of the dating, it does it for me. And you can't get that in the United States all the time. Obviously you can, there's a lot of immigrants in the United States. If I date long enough, I will find that. But obviously if you're in another country, you're more likely to find that on a consistent basis, right? So let's get back to the topic. What is a passport bro? 
I completely disagree with that. That a passport bro is a person that travels abroad to find women. I, I, I do not think that's what a passport bro is. I don't think that's what a passport bro should represent. And I think we should dead that right now. Like, nip that in the bud. There's sex tourism. That's one thing. That means that you're traveling to get a sexual experience. That's a whole another category. That term has existed way before Passport Bros. That term has existed. That's been happening way before you and I were probably even born. People traveling way before our great granddaddies, if there was uh, planes in that time, great great granddaddies, they might have been doing that back then. What you think they was doing in World War II? When they was traveling all over the world, you think they wasn't, they wasn't pounding some stuff over there in Germany, over there in Japan, over there in, you know what I'm saying? The Soviet Union? You think they wasn't pounding nothing? Stop, of course. Look at Korea, they frying chicken like black people right now. You know why? Cause somebody was slanging something. And he was like, baby, come in the kitchen, let me show you something. Now they got whole fried chicken restaurants out there. That's when that's what happens with when cultures mesh together. You know what I'm saying? So, what is a passport bro? In my opinion, my definition, and don't come for me, this is my definition, my twist, and my take on it. A passport bro is a person, specifically a male, that wants to escape the matrix of the Western society of the hustle and bustle, of the smush, 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 work, 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 money, 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 nine to five, nine to five, nine to five, bills, 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 you know? It's a person in that experience that wants to look for another reality. Then, once you get to that reality, and that might be in Colombia, that might be in the Dominican Republic, that might be in any country, that might be in Thailand, that might be in South Africa, that might be in you know, Ghana, so many countries to choose from, thousands, you know, and that's, and that's everybody's choice. But a passport bro is a person that is looking to find another lifestyle in another place. And it just so happens that women are a part of that. If you're a straight single male at that time, it's a part of the whole experience. For me, uh, me for example, do you think I'm gonna spend my hard earned money to travel to in this instance, Costa Rica, just for women, like just for women. I ain't here to see, look at this, man. Look at this. I love this. Ain't no women here right now. And I'm loving this, I enjoy this. I literally, I'm not lying to you. I love history. In school, that was my favorite subject. I love history. I love learning about the history of, uh, um, of a country. And in this instance, I'm learning Spanish. I love learning languages. I love the fact that I'm in a place where I have to adapt and mend and, you know, become one with the people. That's my experience. I don't really like the touristy areas and all that. They're cool, you know, you check them out. But I like to, I like to mingle with the people and then, and become one with the people. So that's a part of my experience. And that's with men and women. It's not, I like to meet friends too, like male friends. I like, it's not just about women. So that's my definition of a passport bro. Once again, it's a person that wants to escape the matrix of the society that they're in and go to somewhere where it's more relaxed, better cost of living, better quality of life, better quality of food, better quality of women, or maybe you're just looking for something different. Women are just a, par a product of this, you know? Uh, better environment. There's so many different, you know, things that come into it. It's not just about women, bro. We gotta stop that. It makes men, I'm a part of this Facebook group, bro, and it's like, it's sad. It's like pathetic, to be honest with you. It's pathetic to see, for me, in my opinion, I'm not judging, like, if you do what you do, but it's pathetic to me to see men on this group that I'm in on Facebook. And it seems like 99% of the conversations are like, oh, I'm going to the Dominican Republic. How much are the girls there? Nigga, that's it? You don't want no more fungo. You don't want no more fucking platano. You don't want nothing. You don't want to see the beaches. You don't want nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else. Just women. Come on, man. 
Don't get me wrong. When I'm traveling, that's on my mind too. I'm not, don't get it twisted. I'm just saying like, there's, when you go to a country, there is so much more to offer than women. That should just be like the cherry on top, if you get what I'm saying. That's just my opinion. So there's a recap of what I'm talking about. Once again, in my opinion, a passport bro is not a sex tourist. That's me. There's a lot of women and I hate like, Women are running with that. And that's another that's another topic for another video. I know a lot of women are making it seem like, oh, we're going over there because, or we're going across the pond or going overseas because we can't pull women in the United States or because we want to take advantage of those women because they're in poor countries. This shit is ridiculous. This shit is ridiculous. You know how many doctors, lawyers, professional women that I've met here that make good money? I asked them, do you want to come to the United States? Absolutely not. Do you know that we're a laughing stock in the United States? Do you know that people now there is Google, now there is YouTube. People see how dangerous it is. People, these girls want to start families too. Do you think these girls want to start families and um, send their kids off to school and wonder, hmm, I wonder if my kids gonna make it home today or get shot the fuck up in a school shooting? They, I've had conversations with women about this. So stop with your pompous. American Western attitude thinking that everybody in the United I mean everybody across seas or overseas want to live in the United States because that's not true are there some people that want to absolutely but that's not the case for majority of the women that I personally met never said like oh I want to come to the United States because sometimes I'll post a picture or I've seen people post a picture into that group that I'm talking about and people in the comments talking about oh they're just trying to get a green card bruh stop stop it bruh that's not the case I'm telling you that's not the case. You're bugging if you think that's the case. A lot of women are content living in their beautiful country with their beautiful resources, their beautiful nature, you know what I mean? Their beautiful culture. They don't wanna go to that hustle and bustle lifestyle. They might go over there to make a bag, but that's it. They're not trying to live over there. And we need to stop with this American attitude that we think that we're just the best and we're just the, the most you know, successful country because, you know, if you're watching this and you're from the United States, I don't know where you're from, but when I, I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, when I walk around my neighborhood and walk around some of the places where I grew up, sometimes it looks like a third world country, man. We have so many abandoned buildings and so much poverty in Pittsburgh. I'm like, shit, when I'm around here, not saying that there's not poverty here, of course, but when I'm around here, bro, I don't see as much sometimes. Obviously there is, I'm not saying that there's not. I'm just saying, and obviously the poverty here is on another level. I'm just saying, we got a lot to work on on our own country. So, it's <laughs> stop thinking that people wanna leave their country to come to ours, that's all I'm trying to say. But, back to the recap of what I'm trying to, the, what the purpose of this video is about, is to define a passport bro, and it's my mission to we navigate what it means to be a passport bro, bro. Because, <laughs> bro, you can't tell me that a passport bro is a, the only thing that they're doing is stamping their passport just to get women. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. We can get women, you can get foreign women in the United States. There's, I'm pretty sure, I don't know the numbers, don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure when it comes to immigrants, the United States is probably up there in the numbers, which means that if you're looking for a woman that has a different outlook on, on life and a different cultural perspective, you can stay in the States, nigga. Especially for me, because I love Latino women. Nigga, I can go to Houston. I can go to Florida. I can go to Dallas. I can go to California. I can go all on, on the West Coast. I can go to New Mexico. You know how many places I can go if I want a Latina? It's not about that. It's about, I want to see the country too. I want to see the culture. And that's the beautiful thing that I love about dating over here is that once I'm dating over here, if a woman's knowledgeable, she can take me around. She can say, hey, let's go to this uh, museum or let's try this food or I'm gonna cook for you or I'm um, gonna help you with Spanish or that's how I just treat it like the cherry on top. I just treat it like the cherry on top and there's male friends that can help me with it too. Like, bro, let me show you this, let me show you that. This is where we go at night to chill or whatever. 
I had a friend, she took me to this park, and you'll see in the video, y'all probably already seen it because I, I recorded that before, but a friend of mine took me to this park. You know I've been here twice. It's my third time here. I've never been to a park called Parque Francia. This other girl told me it was a little dangerous, but I'm being naive, like just thinking, you know, it looked chill to me. But, you know, it was a park where the younger generation, you know, come, they smoke, they chill, they drink. They just vibe in the park at night, all the way up until 12, 1 a.m. Thought it was a vibe. I never knew about it. She taught me, she showed me it. And then she taught me why it was called Parque Francia. And that there were French uh, colonizers in Costa Rica at one point. So, you know, that's how I look at it, bro. I just wanted to stop this nonsense, but I love you guys, man. I hope that we have a good 2024. <sighs> if you love this content, please subscribe, like the channel. If you're feeling generous and you want to see more content and you want your boy to travel more and we can explore more places, please, you know, send a donation. The channel's not monetized yet, still growing. This is my brand, ODC. It stands for Only Dreams Create, meaning that before anything is a physical, tangible thing, it has to become a dream first. So anybody can identify with that. We all have dreams. That's, I put that into my brand. If you support that message, you know, you know think about buying a hat. I got t-shirts, hoodies. We got all types of stuff. It's a brand, you know, it's a fashion streetwear brand. So if you like that message, thinking about uh, supporting your boy, I really appreciate it. It's one of my other passions, one of my other dreams is fashion and designing. I love it. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna head out, take a walk and chill, enjoy my last couple days here. And I love you guys, Mecca Mob.